Well, it is time and uh, we will uh, bring up Tammy. There she is. Tammy, just letting you know that uh, before you say anything, uh, no, you've been unmuted and that's fantastic. Uh, it is really great to have you and uh, please take us away. I'm scared to talk. <laughs> Oh dear, it's it's the fun part, which we obviously, even when we're face to face, we get all the fun stuff. So I, I hope that you've been able to have the last couple of days some some inspiration, some laughs, some, you know, all those kind of things, because we're just we're just real people. We're not trying to make this professional, we're just trying to make sense, really. And uh, it's been fun for us to do that. I hope that you've got your that the PDF that was in the uh, link. And if not, at least to have um, a piece of paper and some pens. I'd really encourage you to just, because what's going to happen is we, we really wanted to finish off with, with a poem. And as you can see, we started with a really, really ornate setting l last night, uh, yesterday, and now we've kind of got what's, what, what feels to me a little bit more comfortable, the kind of family table that I can invite anyone to. And... Uh, and we've kind of rearranged the, this, this rectangular or square table, but we kind of feel like there's even, there's even more that we can really be challenged by about what is the table look like. And so what we want to do is we want to finish with, we know we've, you've got lots of information in your head. We don't want to add any information. We just want to begin, end with a, with, I suppose, a visual um, representation for you to, to reflect on and consider. So, I'm going to share this poem, but each sort of time I, after each certain stanza, I'm going to ask you to wonder. And these questions on here and on the screen will help you as we just kind of break this poem down, slow it down. For those of you that were in my workshop, we're going to actually stop and do a little bit of chewing and uh, spend uh, the next half an hour just chewing on this beautiful poem written brilliantly by Chuck Lathrop and uh, what, it, what it might just do to kind of wash over us and challenge us for this as the end. So hopefully you've got this ready or a pen and paper and time to just moments where there will be silence and time for you to, re, uh, to reflect as we break down and chew on this incredible um, poem. It's called In the Search of a Round Table by Chuck Lathrop. Concerning the why, the how, the what and the who of ministry, one image keeps surfacing, a table that is round, It'll take some soaring to be round tabled. Some redefining, some redesigning, some redoing some rebirthing of the narrow, long churching. It can be painful for people and for tables. I wonder what you think needs redesigning for you. So is the cross, painful too, a table of giving and yes. From such death comes life and such dying comes rising. In search of round tabling, what would round table churching mean? It would mean no diocing or throning, but 
One king is there. He was a foot washer at a table, no less. For at narrow long tables, servant and mirror become picture framed and centres of attention. And crosses become gilded ornaments on bare stones in buildings used but once a week only. Take some time to consider what the words diocing, throning, gilded ornaments, centre of attention, what does that mean for you in your space and community. Wonder about that for a while. But the times and the tables are changing and rearranging. And what of narrow, long table ministers? When they confront a round table people, after years of working up a table, As in, up a ladder, I wonder, to finally sit at its head and to discover that the table has turned around, continued rarefied air will only be only be isolating for there are no people up here just rolls i wonder what do we as leaders need to let go of dethrone as it were take time to wonder They must be loved into roundness, where a part is spelled a part. And the calling is to the gathering. For God has called a people, not a them and us. Them and us are unable to gather around, for at a round table there are no sides and all are invited to wholeness and to food. Who needs to be invited? Who is a part? Who is them and us? I wonder who that is for us. At one time, our narrowing churches were built to resemble the cross, but it does no good for building to do so if lives do not. Round tabling means no preferred seating, no first, no last, no better, no corners for the least of these. 
Roundtabling means being with, a part of, together, one. It means room for the spirit and gifts and disturbing profound peace for all. How can we bring equality to our tables? There should be a picture on your screen and it's a picture of the Last Supper. And I wonder as we consider who should be there, who's invited and who is not. It is we in the present who are mixing and kneading the dough for the future. We can no longer prepare for the past. What are we mixing and kneading? What is the future that we are preparing for? Take time to wonder. To be church. If he calls us for other than a round table, well, we are bound to follow. Leaving the sawdust. <laughs> the chips, the designs, the redesigns behind. I wonder, what must me unlearn? What must go? What stays? Take time to consider. in search of and in the presence of the kingdom that is his and not ours. Hmm. Father, Would you forgive us for the times we hang on to our long, thin table? Would 
Would you help us, Spirit, to seek first His kingdom? Help us to make round tables that all can share. Amen. Yeah, that was powerful. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Louise. Um, A powerful way to bring our conference for this year to a conclusion. Wasn't it, John? Absolutely, absolutely. What a great way to to see it out. We've actually posted a um, a link to uh, just somebody else who had shared that poem online. So if you want to go back and relive that, don't forget. If you want to uh, relive it, uh, the, the resources will also be coming out uh, following the conference. And um, what a great um, educational experience. But also um, for me, it's been a great experience of fellowship with people who are thinking very similarly uh, across our nation and across ministries and all kinds of different ministries. And in fact, um, following this, if if you're wanting to look more into this, uh, you may have remembered Tammy mentioning her communities of practice, and you can uh, access that if you want to sign up for some small cohorts uh, with Tammy to look into intergenerational ministry and 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 what the practicalities or what a practitioner what uh being a practitioner of intergenerational ministry looks like uh how else can people get in contact with us darren yeah i say john that's a powerful way to gain traction if you want to get your your church well and truly on that journey um joining a cohort's a powerful way to get that traction and get the journey well and truly underway um and tammy and her team will come in and do that on a, a regular basis. Um, if you sign up to do that with your church, so um, yeah, um, that's one thing worth considering and exploring. Of course, also if you want to um, join our Intergenerate Facebook group, hopefully you're all in there by now. But often there's regular resources and things going up there. Also on our Intergenerate Australia website, um, resources are there, and um, often there's webinars and things that happen in that space as well. Um, where we keep this journey going and this discussion going. And um, yeah, we're here to help you and and your churches and, and your teams um, go on this journey. So so please keep journeying and keep pondering and um, yeah, get the book, Engage All Generations, what we're reading. Um, remember that, yeah, we're here to help you as well. As always, if um, we'd love you to get in touch with us. We'd love you to tell us uh, your stories so that we can share them in a, in a wider community that needs to hear them. Uh, and also, if you've got any questions, we're learning the questions uh, just the same as you because we're on the same journey. So uh, don't forget to go to our um, webpage, intergenerate.com.au, and uh, there is a contact us page there, or you can contact us through Facebook, uh, however you want to do it, let's stay in touch and um, and continue to uh, to do this intergenerational journey. So uh, as we conclude our conference uh, this week, uh, go out in the Lord's name, build his kingdom through the power of his spirit for all generations now and forever. Amen. Amen.